terrible mood. <laughs> I'm wearing the same thing from the last time we were driving together. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get myself out of this terrible mood. I didn't say hello. Hello. All right, let me tell you why I'm in a terrible mood. Because I think in the last video I told you that I'm I work in an oral surgeon's office. The position that I have is very, very hard for one person to handle. And there's three of us right now. One of them is leaving. I'm kind of happy she's leaving. And it's still a lot for the three of us. And the girl that's leaving, she's only working until two o'clock. The main receptionist, or the one that's been there the longest, has the most experience, that's Mary. Um, she just had wrist surgery and she called me because I texted her to see how she was feeling because I like, I like her a lot and she's doing good, but her doctor told her that she can't go back to work for two weeks. So I have to figure out how to do this shit by myself for two weeks. Oh my God. I have to get gas. I leave my door open because I'm always afraid my car's gonna lock on me for some reason, even though it's probably not gonna happen. I'm putting you right there for a second because we're going to the car wash and it's right, it's right next door here. I'm in a bad mood, I need to fix my mood. I need to fix my mood. Anyway, we're at the car wash. Oh shit, I gotta get my keys out. My keys. There's a panorama outside, so. I got my car washed. I'm very happy, she's, she's clean. And now I have to go to Target again. Are you gonna stay up? I hope to God this stays up. Stan, are you? So now we're at this angle because the tripod that I had that could sit right up here, I just broke it. How's your weekend? Cause mine so far is not doing so hot. I just, I wanna do a job that doesn't stress me out. I know that you're always gonna be stressed out at a, at a job. And that if you want to make decent money, that yeah, it's not it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. But I mean, if you want to make a livable salary, a livable salary in New York, mind you, you have to put the work in. I get that. But I don't want to have jobs that make me cry anymore. I work in an oral surgeon's office and I do not care about teeth. Wanna know what I care about? I care about cars. I care a lot about cars. And I care about YouTube. My career in the car business was tainted. But I'm not gonna get into it because that's a story that's gonna make me even angrier than I am now. But I wanna do something that makes me happy. I wanna do something that makes me excited to wake up in the morning. I wanna do something that doesn't make it feel like there's a knot in my chest because my coworker called out. Because even at my last job, I, I ran a whole building with a, one other person who couldn't even buy, buy, be bothered to show up to work on time, mind you. We started at 7. She'd come in. The earliest she would come in is like 7.30. The days that she got there when we opened was mind-boggling to me. You know, and then there were a, a lot of days where she was there at 9, some days 10. Oh, I just want to let you know I'm going to be 15 minutes late to work. Shows up at 10 a.m. What, that's not, that's, that's three hours. That's three hours, my girl. So I was left alone a lot to run this building. And I liked cars, I, I still do. But that shit will give you gray hairs. That stressed me out. Now I work in this office. And now I'm running this office. That is so draining. And I don't want to be drained anymore, but. I hope my coworker gets better and I want her to do what's best for her because I do, I like her a lot, but I am exhausted. Put on makeup for you guys because I always come on here looking busted up, but now I'm ruining the makeup. I'm gonna tell you something. This negativity that I have, don't do it. I'm working on it, I'm working on it real hard. Because if you start saying to yourself, why me, why me, why me, why me? It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything besides put emphasis on the why me. My coworker called me and told me she's gonna be out for two weeks. I put myself in a bad mood because I assume that it's gonna be shit because I can't see it being any other way than being overwhelming and shit. 
then I put myself in a bad mood and then I was aggressive with my tripod and I broke my tripod. It is so hard to wire your brain to think positively when you are so used to thinking negatively, but it is the healthiest thing that you can do. So here we go. Mary is gonna come back sooner than two weeks. Mary is gonna come back immediately. Mary's gonna come back immediately. She's gonna be in no pain. She's gonna come back completely rested, restored, and ready to work. This week is gonna be good. And whatever week to come is gonna be good. And I'm gonna do my best. I'm going to be happy. Everything's going to be okay. And it'll be over sooner than ever expected. And there's no reason to be upset because you, you lady, are a fucking badass. And you have the greatest work ethic that even you yourself are proud of. You are smart. You will get through this. You are brave and everything is gonna be okay. You are going to be okay. You're gonna go into Target and you're just gonna focus on Target. No negativity. Everything is gonna be okay. Sometimes I talk to myself to make myself feel better. It does work. Everything's gonna be all right, guys. Even with you, with your struggles, everything's gonna be okay. Just tell yourself positive things and know it's hard. And even if you don't believe them, say them out loud. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Work is gonna be fine. You got this. You're gonna do this. Everything's gonna be fine. Just say it to yourself over and over again because I promise that whatever life hands you, you are going to get through it. You are going to wake up the next day and you're gonna be like, wow, I did that. Wow, I made it through. Even if it's not the next day, even if it's a week, a month, a year, but trust me, it is going to be all right. Everything that you want in this world will be yours. It's gonna be all right, I promise. Mostly saying this to myself, but if anyone else needs to hear it, I'm here for you. I'm gonna go into Target now. I'll be back. We're gonna get coffee. Are you excited? Everyone in the world, was in Target because in my old job I'd have one weekend day off and one weekday off and like having weekdays off is the best thing because nobody's out I mean people are out but like not as much as the weekend oh my god but I got myself a little snacky I wanted to get like several bags of my favorite peppers there's one bag left that's the thing about the weekends everything goes so fast because everyone's out shopping let me do a mini target haul so i got the little peppers i didn't realize how fast i go through these this whole bag only lasts me like three days like three lunches i got shredded romaine lettuce i could have just got the like the romaine and cut it up myself but like i love the shredded lettuce so much easier to eat and then i got my face wash that i use i ran out of this like three days ago and i've been too lazy to go get it it's the cerave hydrogenate high high hydrating facial cleanser wow i got these these things from target okay I think in my last vlog, I said that if I have to cook in order to achieve a meal prep, I don't want to do it. So I get the grilled chicken from Target. These are great. These were on sale. Chicken skewers. And I just take them off the skewer. I cut them up and I put them in my salad. And it's grilled chicken breast skewers with rotisserie style seasoning. In two skewers, it's 130 calories. Usually the, this pack is like $7.99. There's like six of them in there. But it was on sale today for like $4.49 or something like that. So... And I also got, this is the Panera Bread Poppy Seed Dressing. It only has 25 calories and two tablespoons. So I'm excited to try this. And then last but not least, I got my mascara. This is the only mascara that I use. But I branched out and I got this mascara. It's It looks new. I've never seen this before. It's the Maybelline Curl Bounce. I always get non-waterproof mascara because I like just getting in the shower after work and washing it off my face. So yeah, that's what I got from Target. Just some stuffs and things. It doesn't really look like much, but I spent $50. It's good to keep sanitizer in your car for moments where you're trying to snack on the fly. I'm gonna finish my chicoots board and then we're gonna go get coffee. And we're gonna brighten up our day because the only person in charge of your happiness is you. I used to. By used to, I mean very recently. Depending on my friends for happiness, which is like, it's not good. Don't get me wrong. I love my friends and they do an excellent job making me feel better, but I need to be in charge of my own happiness. That was also an issue in my last relationship. I kind of depended on my ex boyfriend to make me feel like I was worth something. Not good. Not good. 
he made me feel like shit every day of my life but whatever i'm in charge of me now my happiness i make me happy even if i don't believe it i'm gonna tell myself that i make me happy i wonder if i could leave you there while i'm driving if it would work out what do you think you can try it all right i'm gonna place a mobile order for duncan i, I don't know about you but i'm a mobile order queen it's not because I have an issue of talking at the drive-thru, it's just that I like to see like all my options laid out. So I'm gonna place a mobile order for Duncan and then we're gonna drive to Duncan. Give me two seconds. All right, let's go to Duncan. Then I'm going home because I'm done. I'm so mad I broke my, my tripod because my friend gave it to me. Oh, son of a... Okay, so you're not gonna stay up there. Is he gonna hold you? Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. No, I gotta get back into that lane. I'm sorry, I made mistakes. I have to come back over. Okay, all right, they forgave me. Because the Dunkin' Donuts, it's right over there, but you can't make a U-turn at this light. So you, I go into like this CVS here, and then I come out at the light over there. Not that this matters. Thank you for watching this mess of a vlog. If you've come this far, thank you. Honestly, thank you for watching this because this was just a whirlwind of emotions. It's okay to not be okay. What's not okay is to wallow in it and you need to tell yourself positive things because the only person who's gonna tell you positive things is yourself. I look for positive things from other people and I never get it. They never say what I wanna hear. The only person who knows what I wanna hear is me. The only person who knows you the best is you. So what is gonna make you feel better? What's gonna make you happy? Do that. Because the only thing that's fighting you is the thoughts in your mind. Your, whether that be your depression or just you're a negative thinker, whatever it may be, that's what's fighting you. So what do you need? Do it for yourself because no one's gonna, no one's gonna do it for you. And that's a really hard lesson I had to teach myself. Sorry, my pan's in your face. Coffee time. Hi, I'm picking up a mobile order under Chelsea. Chelsea? Yes. Thank you. I feel like my customer service voice and like when I speak to people that I don't know that well, I sound like like a five-year-old. Thank you. Thanks. Same protocol as Chick-fil-A in the last video. I don't want to film the worker. I feel a little peculiar doing that. I don't want them to be offended or feel uncomfortable. So I'm going to stop recording and I will come back as soon as the coffee is in my hand. Cause I'm excited for coffee. I got the coffee! Yo, I think everyone's noticing that I put makeup on today. A guy at the car wash would not stop staring at me. And this, this Duncan worker, he was cute. He was probably like a teenager though, but he was cute. I feel like such an old lady talking about teenagers. I'm like, he was cute, but he was young. He was cute, but he smiled at me. So sweet. Aww. He was just like, have a great day. And I'm like, no. I'm gonna put you down for a second so I can show you the coffee. I got me a little guy. I got an iced coffee with skim milk and the brown, the brown sugar, brown sugar cookie syrup. It's good. It's not too sweet, but you can really taste the brown sugar cookie. It's good. It really can be a hit and a miss sometimes with Duncan. If you if you go to Duncan, you know what I mean. Guys, I feel better. I do. It's so important. Be there for yourself. You need to be able to find happiness by yourself. I'm not downgrading anyone in my life. I'm grateful for everyone in my life and how they make me feel. And I love, I love everyone in my life. But I gotta wake up and be with myself every day. I gotta do this shit with me every day. And if anyone's gonna make me feel better, it's gotta be me. So. You got this girl. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard at work, but you're gonna earn it. And then when you're done, you should ask for a raise. We were productive today. I'm proud of us. I have to put you down to pull into my driveway. Thanks for hanging out with me though. On that note, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee. And I'm gonna relax and I might work out. I'm definitely gonna finish cleaning my room. But thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed our drive, even though I was a little bipolar in it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me again. Like always, I will see you in my next video. I will see you again. Have a great weekend, have a great week. Conquer work, conquer life, conquer school. Whatever you have to do, just conquer it. Do it the best way you know how. You got this, we got this. Bye guys. <laughs>